Hey YouTube, I am making a, a, a quick review on basically the 1 to 6, 1 to 8 times uh, scope and the two, two, the two best, well the two prominent companies out there are Lucid and Primary Arms. Let's see if the shadow is pretty bad. So I was looking to buy one of these scopes and I ended up buying both because I went with Lucid first and in retrospect the better buy was the one to one to six one to eight primary arms one because I got more bang for my buck and number one reason was the reticle was so much more easier to use and figure out really quickly you can see it right here Got, this is the reticle. It's blown up on the side of the box. This is how you range a person. So their feet are there, and the top of their head are here at these marks. And also, if you can't see the entire body, you can use these marks or these hash marks from left shoulder to right shoulder, and you can get a decent range estimate on them. Because research shows the number one reason for missed shots is due to poor ranging. I think the second one is due to an incorrect wind call. So, in these dots here are your leads for if the target's running. And I think it relates to a five mile per hour wind hold. So, let me crack this open so you can all see what's inside. This is the one to eight, it's the same price as the Lucid, one to six. So, in terms of magnification, I got more bang for my buck for the same amount of money maybe a little bit more 10 20 bucks more but this is what it looks like and throughout it all keep in mind this reticle because this is what you're looking at and this is what's gonna basically make or break your entire experience with the product because the main reason we're buying this is for the view through the reticle so really quickly here it is these end caps will get in focus tighter than your prom date in terms of not coming loose at the end. You've got elevation and wind suggestion adjustment. You've got the reticle. The primary arms gives you the battery. And then back here. By the way, this is my first YouTube video, everybody, so give me patience. That one is just perfect. Because the problem I had with one of the Lucid eye covers is this back part would come off as you apply force here. But not, not having any of those problems with this primary arms product. So let me see if, I can, if you can see the reticle. Oh, hold on. Let's turn this on. I'll put it to the max since it's right out here. Next up, the Lucid 1 to 6 by 24 P7. Both of, well, the Lucid's a, it's not mill dot, it's, oh, I'm blanking right now, uses MOA, minutes of angle. Um, this is the reticle, say on paper they give you these range estimates, if you're zeroing at 100 yards, but I can't keep this stuff in my mind when I'm my eyes looking down the scope and I'm trying to figure things out. Uh, maybe some can, but I can't. And this reticle I realized was this is my this is all of my experience with the product. 
and I don't have time nor the capability to do this math or memorize these numbers. So this is what led me to look for something a, for a better scope. And what I mean by a better scope, I mean a better experience with what I'm seeing with my eyeball. So that led me to do some more searching, and I came to Primary Arms. Because this, I don't have to think or memorize the MOA range dots, which aren't easy to memorize because these aren't nice, easy, even numbers. This, not only does it give me a range, a number, even numbers, simple numbers, I can range the target based on width of the shoulders, if they're hiding behind a window or laying prone, or if they're just standing freely, I can use this. Feet down here, and then top of the head here. And the basis for this is a 5 foot 10 male. And on top of that, they give me these lead dots for, you know, I think a 5 foot 10 standard male running. And these are also, I think they relate also to a 5 mile per hour wind, wind adjustment. So, if you get the 1x6, I think it's around a $200 product. If you go for the most recent one, the 1 to 8, it's about $400, give or take, roughly. $380, $390. So basically, the same price of this Lucid, you get a little bit more magnification, and in my opinion, a better, easier, simpler reticle to use. Now, I, I first bought the Lucid because I really liked Mr. Wilson and what I heard about him and his firm and their dedication to a value buy and customer service. Didn't really know much about Primary Arms, but I chose this because of what I heard about the man behind the company, behind the product. Still like and respect him, still like their business model and their philosophy on how to treat customers and take care of their people and how to develop their products, but in terms of user experience, this in an angle reticle versus this one, I chose this one. But I, I had to first spend $400 on this before I figured out that this was the right one, the primary arms one. So, get top view here. Uh, if we line them up right there, the Lucid one is a little bit bigger for whatever reason, even though it does a little bit less magnification. So this is the Lucid, this is the Primary Arms one. Um, so, these are just caps, I think, they don't really fit on the best. You can see, this one's pretty good. This front one's a little bit too wobbly and it'll wiggle off as you apply force to the front. But, um, yeah, you can see, just trying to get that first one off, this rear one wiggles off. So I don't know if these were specifically made for this, but it's a small nuisance. Um, but the number one reason why I passed, I don't want to loosen anymore, and why I'm going to try to return it, is because with the primary arms one, the reticle, the thing that I'm looking through, looking at with my eyeball, is so much more simpler and easier to figure out and use versus the minute of angle reticle. So let me see if I can get you guys a view through this. Sorry for the poor view. It's my first YouTube video. Uh, I'm just trying to use my phone. I really don't want to go spend money on a fancy camera and stuff. It's not what I do for a living. I'm just trying to pass the message along to people, trying to get the most bang for their buck, that the primary arms 1 to 6 or 1 to 8 scope is probably the better buy versus the Lucid one. Uh, for the number one reason the primary arms one, in my opinion, is better than the Lucid is because of the ease, simplicity, and utility you can get out of this reticle versus this.
Lucid one on the left hand side. This is the gist. And the Lucid one doesn't have these red numbers on the reticle. The Lucid is this on the left minus all the red numbers. This is what you get on the primary arms one. And I just found it more simpler and easier to use. So I hope I can return this Lucid one, um, get my money back. I would probably buy, well, oh, I won't jump the gun. But they, I might, their larger 6 to 24 scope seems like is a great value buy, but again, it's the user's experience with the reticle. And I'm liking Primary Arms' reticle over this minute of angle one on the Lucid. So if you got 200 bucks or 380 or 400 and you're wondering which one to six scope to buy, I, I, I only recommend the Primary Arms one. So for 400 bucks, roughly 400, you get two times a little bit more magnification, the one to eight. For just $200, roughly, you can get one to six with this great reticle. And I'm going to give links to uh, Mr. Guns and Gear channel because he has an interview with the, the creator of this product, Dimitri, and he gives a great, uh, great explanation behind the reticle and behind the design, and the engineering. So. Buy the primary arms one. It's the best. It's the better one of the two. And uh, just on a side note, Lucid gives you this little wrench, little extra little stick thing you can put in here to give you more traction. I'm pretty sure I got the same stuff from, well, primary arms has it little raised notch. So you don't need that. And uh, you did, I didn't get any mounts with either of them. So, thanks for the first YouTube video. And again, I'm just making this so other consumers don't have to go through the time or especially the money spent in figuring out this question. Uh, Primary Arms has the better reticle, um, the easier, the better ease of use compared to the Lucid Minute of Angle. Like this one. See you all later.